Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the characteristics of a compound motor. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. The compound motor means we have series field as well as sand field, both are available. So based on the connection it is divided into cumulative compound and differential compound. First we will see the cumulative compound, cumulative compound means series field is added with the sand field, both are added together. Series field flux is added with the sand field flux. In that first we will see the armature torque versus armature current, Ta versus Ia. So as the load increases, the armature current will increase. So that the series field current also increases because all are connected in series and flux in the series field winding also increases. Load increases, armature current increases, series field current also increases so that the flux in the series field also increases. We know that the flux total flux equal to sum of flux due to shunt and flux due to series pi sh and pi sc, shunt field flux and series field flux. If the pi increases, the pi sc increases mean the total flux also increases. So as the load increases, armature current increase, the total flux also increases. So we know that Ta is directly proportional to pi into Ia. So here pi also increases, Ia also increases, both are increases. So that we will get the graph in a parabolic manner. When the Ia increases, the torque increases in a parabolic manner because these are this pi and Ia both are increases. Increase in Ta is rapid because of both pi and Ia also increases, right. So load increases, the armature current increases, the total flux also increases. So T is pi directly proportional to pi into Ia, both are increases in a rapidly so that it will getting in a parabolic manner. Now we will go to the second characteristics, speed versus armature current, N, N versus Ia. We know that relation n is directly proportional to e b by pi back e m of directly proportional back e m of inversely proportional to flux. So, when the armature current increases, series field current also increases, the series field flux also increases, so the total flux also increases. Just now we previously we discussed load increase mean armature current, sand series field current, series field flux, the total flux will increase. See the flux is available in the denominator, inversely proportional. If the speed increases, the, if the flux increases, the speed will decrease. So the load increases, the totally flux is increasing, but the flux is inversely proportional to the speed, so that speed will decreases. So this dotted line refers the speed of the no load speed. When the load increases, the, sp the speed is slowly decreases, it gradually decreases. So that is due to increase in the flux. The speed decreases with the increase in flux or speed decreases with the increase in the armature current. Now we will go to the third, third characteristics, speed versus armature torque. So this is drawn from the previous two curve. Find the speed and armature torque from the previous curve for different values of armature current, then draw the speed versus armature torque curve. From the previous curve, we can draw this. So here also it is, when the armature torque increases, speed will decreases, slowly the speed will decreases. Now we will go to the differential compound motor. First we will see the armature torque versus armature current. The same thing, as the load increases, armature current will increase series field current also increase. So, the series field flux also increases. So, the total flux is pi s e minus pi s, pi s h minus pi s e because in a differential compound series flux oppose the sun flux. In previous case both series flux and sun flux are added together, now it is subtracted. So, So when the series field flux increases, the total flux will decrease because 
both are subtraction both are oppose each other in previous case both are added together so when the load increases armature current will increase but the flux will decrease we know that relation t is directly proportional to pi into ia right so here ia is increasing and pi is decreasing but increasing in ia is more than the decreasing in pi so that it is compensated so the ta is increasing slowly in previous case it is increasing in a rapid manner but here one one parameter ia is increasing but another parameter pi is decreasing but the decreasing is very less than the increasing of armature current so that still the armature torque will increases slowly it will increases right so when the armature current increases the armature torque also increases now we'll go to the speed versus armature current we know that n is directly proportional to eb divided by pi directly proportional to back emf and inversely proportional to flux the same thing as the load increases armature current will increase series field current will increase so that series field flux also increases but the total flux is difference between these two pi sh minus pi sc so when the series field flux increases mean the total flux will decrease the total flux will decrease so the flux decreases mean speed will increase because speed and flux is inversely proportional inversely proportional to each other so when the flux decreases the speed will increase see this the speed will increases so this is the no load speed this is the loaded speed when the load increases armature current increases at that time the speed of the motor keep on increases so this is decrease again the previous case cumulative compound motor the speed is decreases but here the speed is increasing so that is due to both are in inversely proportional speed and flux are inversely proportional now we'll go to the third characteristics speed versus armature torque n versus ta so this is drawn from the previous two curve by finding the different values speed and armature torque for the different value of armature current we can draw the graph between speed and armature torque so this is almost same as previous case when the torque increases the speed also increases this dotted line is the no load no load speed when the loaded in, when the load increases the speed also keep on increases so in this video we discuss about the characteristics of a compound gen compound motor there are two types available cumulative compound and differential compound cumulative compound mean flexes are added together differential compound mean flexes are oppose each other subscribe this channel for more videos and notification the soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening